turns the solid into a the gas. You see the gas expanding out all over the place. And those, those molecules can get broken apart and make something else, like a fish or a flower or a hot dog. And I know, over and over and over again. So I'm going to let some of you turn this from a solid to a gas. And you put your hands on your pockets, and I'll come around to some of you, and you can turn that right from a solid to a gas. But don't touch this. This is very, very cold. Remember when I talked to you about not touching my stuff? This is one of those things. This is over 100 degrees below zero. I know. I have to have special gloves on to touch this. It can actually burn me. So I will come to some of you, and you can try that. Just blow it and turn it right from a solid to gas, sublimation, not evaporation. Good. Okay. I'm going to some more of you in the back there in just a second. Have to worry about it. Yeah. This is kind of gross. I don't know if boys and girls in the sewer like gross things or not. <laughs> is it okay if we do something gross? Yes, <laughs> librarian first. Is it alright? I don't know. I think I should let you do something gross. You know, I think we should do something gross here. Yes. So, this next experiment is called Tasting the Bird. And you'll get a cheat. Anyone want to taste the burp? Yeah. <laughs> You're excited. You've never done that before? No. None of you have ever burped before? Did you know the stuff that's in pop that makes you burp is actually carbon dioxide? And this gas right here. That's what makes the pop really fizzy. It's not the sugar or the high fructose corn syrup. It's actually the sugar or the, the carbon dioxide. If you've ever had pop, and it's really stale, the bubbles have gone out of it. It's because the carbon dioxide gas has escaped the liquid. And so that's why I call this next experiment tasting the bird. So let's do that now. Let me see. I need to get a volunteer to come up here. And right here in the red, right here in the back. Yep, come on up. What's your name, number nine? What's your name? Yeah. One more time. Put that on. Okay. Theo of Science, give me a hand, everybody. Zombie <laughs> shades. I know, looking good. Looking good. Okay, Theo. What I want you to do is take my Urban Meyer class, 500 ml stands for what? Who knows? Oh, so you'll learn about that soon. Milliliters. And 1,000 milliliters will equal, who knows what? Equivalent to one, one liter. One liter. So we are going to add, you know, tell me when I have added 324 milliliters of liquid. So we just estimate and call it 300. Okay. Let's add some liquid here. H2O or water. Molecules of H2O. That's long enough to cut. 300? Okay. All right. We're going to be okay? It's going to be all right. Nope. So, now we are going to add some liquid or some carbon dioxide here, some solid to our liquid, we're going to turn this into a gas. And this is the same, so everybody take a big breath. I breathe out. Good, someone didn't brush their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, when you breathe in, boys and girls, thousands of times a day, you breathe in oxygen and other gases. And when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. It's the very same stuff. And trees take this carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen so we can breathe it. And other animals can breathe it. And it just keeps happening over and over. It's called the carbon cycle. It happens over and over. Very important part of life. And this is the same stuff that makes you burp when you drink pop. This is the same gas that comes out of your mouth and other places of your body several times a day. I know. And when you come around, 
you'll just do like this, and you can taste the burp. How about the burp? Let's hear it. Let's hear it.